The water buck it's one of the species uh, a lot more of them here is because of the air is a little bit uh, thick we weren't able to pan into the left but it's more than 10 of them around here in the background as you can see it's water uh, the reason why they call this uh, species water bug is because always where, where the air it has to be a water and prefer in a very much area more you can see them more in East Africa some of the area where it's much naturally you tend to see these species living on those areas look at there uh, in front of us a uh, boot uh, Alex you can see the tallest animal in in Africa is coming for is visiting us here it might be in a tube go for a water this afternoon. Oh, water hole is busy. It's giving us some action. We'll roll more forward in order to view them. It's very amazing how the water, I mean, these giraffe, if they go for the water, you can see the, the front leg is going to be, is going to split it in wide and go down slowly, slowly. And we're going to talk more about that. Let us try to roam of what and get to see everything towards the water hole. It looks like he is a little bit nervous with the vehicle in the surrounding of the water hole. So we're going to be here and let the animal slowly slowly going for water itself this species is the tallest animal in africa it can go at least up to in the book has been recorded that giraffe is taller than is between four up to six meters sometimes a fully grown giraffe is very very tall animal When we look at the giraffe, uh, the, it's very good shot there. Uh, a male giraffe is very amazing. Uh, is having a very thick horns. Is how you can sex giraffe. And also on top of the horns is a little bit bold. Is the reason behind that, as you can see there, is because the giraffe they do a lot of necking when it comes to fighting. So it really, the busy road grass doesn't grow at all. The same is there because it's always fighting, so it will be nothing that it grow on top of the horns itself. The eyelashes is very beautiful, as you can see. The it's a very good animal here when it comes to sense of uh, uh, hearing is very good. Sense of smell too is being recorded in the book, and the eyesight is very good for the animal itself because it's very very tall. It will able to see very far for anything that comes from the distance it's quite I mean it's very very common to see male giraffe I mean traveling being alone it's only the female that travel in journey of giraffe females what they do males what they do the temporal associate themselves from the females seeking for the female that is in oestrus for mating in the business of mating so what they do they has to all the time moving around into the area looking for opportunity of mating sometimes you come across with a lot of question about the color of giraffe Many people, they believe uh, if giraffe is more or black in color, it means it's very, very old. It's not a really answer from me. With my experience, I know that giraffe, it can be old. Some of them, it can be pale in color. And that it means it's a genetic issue. 
if you pale in color you can get all while you pale in color if you dark genetically you will be dark in color we have seen a lot of giraffe into the area very young giraffe in the age of under 12 months old you find that is very very dark in color and that's its currently its genetic issue <laughs> more information of if it's an Egyptian case. Uh, difficult to see this and tricks in the front. We we're trying to share with you more information about the Egyptian geese. Uh, it's one of the species, I mean, birds of species that hangs around in group. It's only when it's in a mate, I mean, mating or in a breeding season is where you find I mean these Egyptian geese get you separated and go to the area where it will be easy for breeding it for themselves so most of the time you find two of them they're always in pairs uh, after breeding they go back and join with the rest of uh, uh, the flock of Egyptian geese they're always making a lot of noise around the water holes if you go to the big water holes or lakes we tend to see thousands of them whistling, making a lot of noise, always having uh, interaction, fighting to each other. <laughs>